In this tutorial, we'll show you how to use the Overlay Blur tool. You can use Overlay Blur when you need to hide information, like a name or login, from your video. To get started, go to the spot on the timeline where you want your Overlay Blur to appear. Click Tools. Select Overlay. And then click the Blur option, or you can press the O key and then the B key. Drag and resize the blur. You can also fine-tune the position by holding down the Control key on Windows or the Command key on Mac, then using the arrow keys to nudge the blur around the video. Change the opacity of the blur using this slider. By default, the overlay won't have a transition. You can choose to have the blur fade in and out by clicking these buttons. Use these bars to choose the section of the video where your overlay appears by dragging them to select the start and end points. You can also jump to the start point by pressing the S key on your keyboard or jump to the end point by pressing the E key. You can also animate the blur so it changes over time, which is useful if you are trying to blur text that is moving on the screen. We cover animation in another tutorial. To preview the overlay, click here. The app will start the preview right before the overlay starts and play through to when it ends. When you're ready, press the OK button. You can also press the Enter key to add the overlay. After the overlay blur is added to your video, a yellow span will show on your timeline, indicating the placement of the blur. You can edit the overlay at any time by clicking the span on the timeline, then clicking this icon. This brings you back to the overlay controls. You can also remove the overlay completely by clicking here. The last use tool is displayed next to the Tools button above the timeline, so you can easily use the Blur tool again with one click. That's how to use the Blur tool in your video. Visit our website to learn about our other editing tools.